Okay, this is 1.3, calculating income hourly wage. Let's do the try of these first, some simple warm-ups. We have $8.50 times 40. We could probably assume that this is somebody's hourly wage of $8.50 per hour multiplied by 40. The 40 could probably be uh, assumed to be 40 hours per week. Okay, so why don't we take our calculator out? Because this is a tough one to do in your head. And let's just take $8.50 and let's multiply that by 40 hours per week. And we end up with an answer of $340. So we can say this is $340. You can do the other three. Very simple. Just use your calculator. All right. Well, let's go right to an example of somebody earning an hourly wage and working so many hours per week. Rachel earns $12.45 per hour as a cashier at a grocery store. Last week, she worked 35 hours. What was Rachel's gross income for the week? Well, let's talk about the word gross. Gross income is the income that you're going to make before any deductions are taken off. Income tax, CPP, EI, union dues, whatever kind of deductions there are, medical, dental, whatever benefits, um, gross is what you're going to make before any of those come off. Okay, so we just take 35 hours per week times $12.45 per hour. And Rachel made, let's take our calculator, we've got 35, let's multiply that by $12.45. And in that week, Rachel made $435.75. $435.75. So Rachel's gross income was $435.75. Okay, very simple to calculate an hourly wage. Before we do the last example here, because that deals with a term that we need to know about, and it's called shift premium. All shift premium is, it's just an extra and additional amount of money that somebody would get for working outside of regular hours. Now we all know what regular hours are, usually 8 o'clock until 4 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the morning until 5 in the afternoon. But we know that many stores, many services are open before that, those hours and after those hours. And sometimes companies will give their workers what's known as a shift premium. A little extra money to work those hours that not a lot of people want to work. Okay, so let's do the example. Denzel works at a tire manufacturing plant and earns $10.20 per hour on day shift. Usually that could be 7 o'clock in the morning till 3, 8 o'clock until 4, 9 o'clock in the morning till 5, whatever. When he works the evening or night shift, he earns a shift premium of $1.15 per hour. Last month, he worked 80 hours on day shift, 40 hours on evenings, and 40 hours on nights. What was his gross income for the month? Well, here's the solution. How much did Denzel earn on day shift last month? Well, we know he worked 80 hours on day shift. So we'll put in 80 right there at $10.20 per hour. So let's get our calculator out. And let's take 80 hours. Let's multiply that by $10.20 per hour. So on day shift, he made $816. $816, okay? What is Denzel's hourly wage on the evening or the night shift? Well, we know that he gets an additional $1.15 per hour when he works outside of the regular day shift. So we take his regular day shift of $10.20 per hour. We add $1.15 per hour to that. And that works out to $11.30 five cents per hour that he's going to make on evening shift or on night shift. It's that little bit of extra on shift premium. So how much did Denzel earn on the evening and night shifts? Well, we know that he was going to earn $11.35 per hour times 80 hours. So we'll just take our calculator and we'll do $11.35, multiply that by 80 hours. And he made $908 with a shift premium. What was Denzel's gross income for the month? Well, all we do is we add up the number of amount of money he made on day shift, the amount of money he made on evenings and nights, 
eight hundred and sixteen dollars plus nine hundred and eight dollars okay we can add those two numbers together eight hundred and sixteen plus nine hundred and eight and he made seventeen hundred and twenty four dollars seventeen hundred and twenty four dollars Denzel's total income was $1,724, okay? And that's all there is. So reflective, why do you think companies pay a shift premium to workers? Well, very simple. Everybody in an ideal situation wants to work day shift, but we know that stores are open late hours and early hours. So to entice workers to work outside of the regular day shift hours, they need to maybe give them a little incentive. And the incentive is always, for the most part, money. Okay, so that's why they're going to pay workers shift premiums. Weekends, same kind of thing. Okay, all right. Go ahead and start the practice. And uh, where you go.